Hi. Hi, oh, underslept nun lady. I've got headphones and they're from space. They even use a cool font that has like the space and the P and then the E has got like a hole in it. It's got no bridge in the A because that's lead Haxer to music and you. So it's the, the Mu6, Mu6 noise canceling headphones, space two. By MU6, because there's no other thing. So this is like the prince of headphones. And I'm about to sit here and put on a clinic for other Bluetooth headphones. Now, they're, they're, they're not perfect. They're not perfect. But, I mean, we're going to reference the Swans, the Sennheiser 4.5s, a couple other Bluetooth headphones that want to be Bluetooth headphones. Hell, we're going to talk about Sony's and Bose. Because they did a fucking fantastic... Fantastic job. This was sent to me by the by whatever Mu6 is. And they're $200 Bluetooth headphones, all right? So I, I won't review like $40 ones. Teltronics has like a special place in my heart because I use their, their sender unit. So I have a faith that they're going to do something good with Bluetooth. So I'll take anything they send me. But usually a company needs to have like, why should I listen to these headphones? Okay, they do this, 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 and they're supposed to be better than this and this. All right, fine. By the way, you can get 10% off on these. I'm going to say that now. This is my old list of things I had to review. Still haven't, I did that one, I think. No, I still haven't done that one. Well, I'm really far behind. Z reviews MU, Z review MU6, Z us in the future. There'll be, if you're a patron of mine or a subscribe star subscriber, you get to see these videos like two weeks early. I will make damn sure that this 10% off coupon works for you guys. If you're watching this and it's public, I hope that it still works for you guys. Z review MU6. There, I got it out of the way. You know how long the piece of paper's been floating in there? I hope it's still active. Oh, touch surface on the side. Uh, next track, last track, volume up, volume down. And then, just like the Sony, where you hold your palm against it, you got transparency mode. You can also permanently switch to transparency mode. This is basically, do I have them here? Like, where are they? This is what, if Apple made the AirPod Pros a headphone, this would be them. Because it's got the three noise canceling modes where it's, none of the none of the app shit, none of the thing where you go to just the levels, it's just noise canceling, basically passive mode, which is called monitor mode, which just means nothing, and then transparency mode. And I wasn't sold, like when I get a Bluetooth headphone like this, I'm just like, eh, right, whatever. And then I put on transparency mode, and it is at least as good as what Bose does and Apple does with the AirPod Pros. That, that lady, that's why I'm like, oh shit, someone paid attention in acoustics class because transparency mode, which we can... Noise canceling off. That's noise canceling off, puts it into monitor mode, which is basically, it's just an inert wireless headphone. Noise canceling. Then there's noise canceling mode, which is very fucking good. You get a little bit of background noise. It's like 90% of the way to Bose 700s, which is basically better than everything else in the market. Transparency. Then you can switch on transparency. And when I put it on transparency, music is paused. I'm using the Tautronic sender here. We're getting low latency app decks. And I put them on and I talk and then it's like, It's like an open headphone. It's like I'm wearing an open back headphone. And it's wonderful to have the three modes because transparency mode is here and then I hit the button. Now noise canceling just goes off. So now they're just an inert headphone. And they're a very, very good, like sound, passive sound dampening headphone, which is important if you're gonna make a noise canceling headphone that it isn't just electronics making it happen. You've got to actually insulate the ear. And these are not exactly the smallest pair of headphones. On my giant head in the mirror, they look fine. I'm not, I'm not vain in looking at myself in the mirror. I just wanted to know how they look. And they look, they look fine. They, they fold like this. You get, you get the ability to make them small. The case they come with is actually, doesn't even look like they'll fit in here. But believe it or not, if you fold them in the correct orientation, these giant chonkin' headphones will fit into a small case. It's weird. I'm, I'm, I just did another Bluetooth headphone. I did the Sennheiser minutes ago. 
And I started with build, and then I worked my way up to how mediocre they sounded. And I'm just hammering out of the gate with, these have the best noise canceling, the best transparency mode I've heard, although it's not over-exaggerated, which I think might be benefiting them. If I, it's in transparency mode, or it, wait. Noise canceling. Transparency. And the music does pause for her to say that. So that's a little bit annoying. Like I did the sound demo yesterday and I switched through it. And it, it can just be a little bit weird, but it's not doing that thing like the Sony's do or the cheaper ones do where you, if you, and by the way, when you're not in transparency mode, you hold your palm against the side and it temporarily puts it in transparency mode like the Sony's do. But it's not exaggerating the sounds. You don't, you don't have superhuman hearing where you hear everything go, wah, and then like you hear things. It just, this is the most natural sounding transparency mode in a closed back I've ever heard. And it's not affected by the volume either. You don't, you don't turn up the real life. It's just a set, a set thing. On this alone, I'd recommend this pair of headphones. But then we got to get into the sound quality because now I've got an open back set of headphones. I could be out at a store having a conversation with someone with low playing music, just like you can with AirPod Pros. And then they've somehow, and I, I mentioned this previously in other videos, they made it so that when you switch between transparency, open back, active noise canceling, and passive mode, they sound almost identical. There is a little bit of a bass boost with noise canceling mode on, but truly a, and I'm not like, oh, Zio, you know, you're sucking this thing's dick pretty hard. Yeah because you can't do this. You can't have it sound the same on three different profiles without a lot of effort. And I just, the thing is I just did that $200, it's now $200 Sennheiser 4.5, and I don't have them here, packed them up, couldn't pack them up fast enough. And I was like, eh, they're all right, but the pads let them pass, and then these are more comfortable than those. These sound better than those by default in any sound setting. The active noise canceling is better. The transparency mode is, exists you couldn't even shut it off on that the only complaint to have is they look they look not great and there's like the grease from my my grease seems to be the, the theme of all these bluetooth things because i just just keep touching them if i didn't have to touch them they'd be beautiful but they're still like a giant plastic looking thing with the hinge the hinge seems solid it doesn't click in place satisfactorily like it does on the Sennheiser, but at least the top's got some padding and this little, it's a very small space here. And it does that thing where when you adjust the size, it doesn't adjust the size down. Most headphones have the headband and then adjust down. Some headphones, for some fucking reason, decide to adjust the size out. Because when you're wearing a headphone, those are not pointed vertically, those are horror fucking zontal. So it just makes this, it just gets bigger on your head instead of just just being there and down like the grados those knees are down this is just spans let me think let me think let me think see us see us. that's that i mean doing a review on them i would highly recommend you just you don't tap because you can even if you just tap because that's what's supposed to turn on transparency mode it won't beep when you put on transparency mode. Hold on, let me. Right. This is just straight up passive headphone. And then it comes on and I'm talking. And it's such a weird and amazing experience. And then it goes away. Let's go back to some music. So I'm assuming obviously DSP correction, but on the foundation of a very capable driver in a very insulated close back. No hollow echo, no aberrations of, of treble bouncing off walls. The inside of the pads, there's this is huge space in here. This is a, this is a, a two knuckle horizontal and a two and a half knuckle vertical with enough space to fit my entire finger around it. So your ear goes in there nice and comfortable. This is probably the most padding I've seen on the front of a driver. Uh, outside of like the Tigers, the Bear Dynamic Tigers to fix their shit. In fact, you could see that's the uh, sensor because when you take these, if you're playing them off your phone, it won't work with this because this can't pause my computer. But if you're playing them off your phone or a portable device, when you take them off and put them on your neck, 
they auto pause. They don't feel that bad around my neck. The pads are, it's gonna keep beeping. The pads are super soft. Like that is a, that is a slow acting memory foam. They're big enough. The clamp, maybe that's why they do this. Cause the, so the clamp is just nice and linear. These are comfortable. The question is going to come up because they're the exact same price as the Swans. Do I like these or the Swans? I think on certain tracks, the Swans can perform audio duties better. Straight up music quality. I think the Swans eke it out with this. Just eke it, eke it. But I feel like as a Bluetooth headphone for using on a plane or in public, or this has the features panned out, the sound, the noise canceling panned out, the, the controls panned out. They're about the same size as the Swan. You have to plug it in, obviously. Which, by the way, USB-C! Everybody that's sending me shit that keeps putting USB micro in their crap, USB-C. Um, it does have a two and a half millimeter input, which I don't know why, especially on a headphone this big, why they're doing that. Is there not enough space for the three? I mean, look look at the literal size difference between a two and a half and a three and a half. Like, yeah, okay, it's a bit bigger, but this is like a dump truck on your head. I just dropped the USB-C cable that it came with. The case is a bit odd. It's a bit of an oddball case. You have to sort of lay it down, and I forget which way this bends to do this. Is it this way? Is this the thing? I think I got it. Yeah, look, boom. Yes, no, no, maybe. It's a tight squeeze, but it's it gets in there. I want to be more exuberant about these because they really do deserve me to scream about them, but it's so hot with the air conditioning off. Oh my God. It's like 90 something degrees today. Uh, a little bit weird having, the, I guess if you're putting the touch controls on the right, you have to put the buttons on the left, but I was, I'm so used to buttons on the right. It's just, it's throwing me off. As far as the plastic goes, like it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Everything moves and functions smoothly. It's just, it, it, get, it collects every bit of oil and dirt on your hands. Um, I've got a solution to this, by the way, which may not appeal to everyone. That's fine, I'm sure. Which may not appeal to everyone, but if you take cutting board oil, rub it onto a microfiber towel, and take any electronics that, you know, show grease, Grease the fuck out of every electronic. It will dry, it'll harden, and you'll never see fingerprints on it again. All of my JDS Labs gear is pre-grease it. I literally, did, fingerprints keep showing up. You do that, and it's like, you can't see fingerprints anymore. Of course, the whole thing is made of oil. But I mean, that might be a little bit extreme for you, but uh, I would almost consider it with these, because they're, I'd take these on a plane more than I'd take the Sony or Bose. Okay, we there yet? Are we there yet? Because I'm not talking about sound quality, I'm talking about features, and I'm hinting about sound quality. These actually sound good. The Swans might sound better, the high vis might sound better, but that's only on certain tracks and certain certain places. And then you gotta deal with everything else and it's, they don't fold right, and it's magnetic charging is fine, and then, this is a sorted Bluetooth headphone. This is at, if it was smaller and more compact, if it was the size of the Sennheiser, or even the Sony, this is bigger than the Sony's would be, um, I think people would buy them more. People are turned off by the looks. And I'm here to try to convince you that sometimes the looks aren't as important as the sound and the comfort. Is noise canceling on? Yeah, it was noise canceling on, okay. I, I was like, Jesus, I can't hear anything. Transparency mode is, is, like this is the test, the snap test. It doesn't sound artificial at all. Hit the button. And it's just, just passive, to hear myself talking. It's just like I'm wearing a closed back headphone, a very closed closed back headphone. And now I can't hear the air conditioner in the other room. I, you know, actually, no, I thought I heard static. Like, you know, you usually hear some hiss. I don't hear hiss at all. What I hear is the air conditioner in the other room at such a small volume that it sounds like static in the background. These sound amazing. 
as far as noise canceling. Now let's switch between some tracks. Star Trek to boldly go. The original Star Trek theme. Yeah, the thing is like quiet tracks that are high quality come across. There's a trumpet. This is Jeff Goldblum, by the way. Jeff Goldblum's got a fucking album. The Capitol Studios Sessions. It never entered my mind. If, if you don't love Jeff Goldblum, you're not human. He is, he transcends gender, country, politics. He's, he's Jeff Goldblum. There's literally nothing that he cannot accomplish. He puts his mind to it. He's the only thing he sings in this one. He doesn't sing in this one. It does, uh, now I got noise canceling on, so the bass is a little bit exaggerated. That's the only caveat is that the noise canceling mode puts the bass up just a touch. I don't know if that's a correction on, on purpose or they just can't. I feel like they could if they wanted to lower that down. But, and I would feel, I feel like the microphones would pick up on the low end more. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're just picking up on it more and it's repeating it and that's why it sounds a little bit fuller. But everything else, Joe Bag is Kelly Elliott on drums. Kelly Elliott on drums. These are us, and you know what? I'm gonna put these in the category of like B and O H six. They're not aggressively detailed. In fact, I'd even skew them more towards a little bit of a dark sound. But they are smooth as. Fucking churned baby butter. I don't know what baby butter is. Don't ask. Don't look it up on the internet. I feel like that will give you bad things. But th these are a pleasant, enjoyable, relaxing sound. And I'll take that for a six hour flight more than any. I, I took some IMs at a flight once and they were like aggressive IMs, like the Tim P ones. And it was just like, ah! Didn't want it after a while, and I think if you're buying these, you you, you, you just just hear it out. Moo six space two. That's how they sound. They sound like a moo six space two. The, the, even thrash metal on these would probably be like calm and and soothing. Which I don't know if I have any thrash metal that's gonna come out. Actually, a perfect circle three libras. Let me shut off noise canceling so that bass boost is a little less. Yeah, no, I love the I love the way these sound. These are a calming storm of sound. Like these will lull you to sleep. Easily lull you to sleep better than most headphones. What is this? Automata. Good movie. This is the uh, the I might keep these, not yard sale them, because I, if flights ever happen again, ever, in the entire of the world, entirety of the world, I'd probably take these. I, I think I would take AirPod Pros, because they're small, and they do literally what these do, but small. But those are AirPod Pros, and fuck it. I'd rather be seen with MU6s in my ears. Because they do... These, these are more calming than those. And it's not like, oh, they just lack all the detail. They're, they're, it's still there. It's just so fucking laid back. But it's not laid back and shit. Like, I've had, I'm have i trying to describe it to people who are probably new to the channel. I'm sure every review, if I put it out and there's 10,000 people who watch it, 2,000 people have never been here before. I hope. The algorithm. Help me out, algorithm, you fuck. And... There are dull headphones. These are the Razors. What are you the fuck, a Razor Opus, you pieces of shit? These are dull headphones. Beautifully built, by the way. And comfortable. These are probably equally as comfortable as these. These are heavy. And I don't care how many THX amps you put in something. If it's a dull headphone, I don't want to listen to it. 
This is the fastest sound demo I've ever completed, 11 minutes. 10 songs in 11 minutes. Usually it takes me 15 minutes because I want to listen through my recording rig setup. Not these. You want to point at a headphone and say, well, Zeos, give me an example of a headphone that is dull but bad here. And then give me an example of a headphone that is soft, not dull, but, oh, fuck. And it's these. These. These destroy these. I'm doing this review next. I'm saving it. I wanted to do like a buffer of like one or two, like good, like get, get into the mood of good. If I did the MU6 review after this, holy fuck, I would be just sucking the dicks on these MU6s because these are so bad. They're, they offend me by, by what they sound like. And these were honestly a fucking massive surprise. Like huge surprise, like 200 bucks? Yeah, all right, D sold. By the way, I have like a, a damping mechanism for this, so it's nice and smooth. It, th that's a perfect example of, yes, it falls down, but like, th how do they do that? How do they make it so smoothly tilt back and forth? I, I love, I, I wanna say these over the swans, I really do. I like swan speakers, duh, it's okay, baby, I love you. You, you, you're gonna get your review soon, and I'm gonna love you so hard. It's gonna make up for how much I'm telling people to buy these over over other things. I, I, I these these and I don't know why I picked the, the sad priest. I guess because she's kind of hot, but I mean, actually she looks sleepy. Put these on, go to sleep. There you go. I could always figure out why I picked that. And you know what? The transparency mode was just on, and I put these on. And it's like I'm wearing open back headphones. There's some dampening in there. They sound kind of like uh, the ether. The Aeon 2 open backs, which are completely dampened to motherfucking shit. Yeah, everything on these just... And then the control surface is not Bose. Like, you've got an entire circle of, like... Why did Bose have to put a stick there? Bose is stupid. Bose, you're stupid. Mu, Mu 6 is not stupid. They said, all right, we're going to do touch surface. Just make it a big one put the little notches on it so you could feel it there's no notches on this side there's notches on this side just so you, just so you get your bearings you don't even need to hit them you just it's, it's nice to feel your bearings as you do things they've got that air of quality that's like just a step above what would be a normal expectation and that's all you need in the headphone world it's all i need to make a good review if you sound average, you get a Mac review. If you sound bad, ho 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 ho. But if you sound a little bit above average, a little bit above what I was expecting, bravo. So MU6 is linked in the description. Don't forget the 10% off coupon code. See us, see your views, MU6. That's, that's 20 bucks. That's fucking $20 off. And um, when I did the Sennheisers the last, last episode, um, the number of four star reviews was 5,400 and something. The number of reviews for four and a half stars here is 27. Nobody knows these exist. That's why they send them to reviewers like me. And I'm going to try real fucking hard to tell you they exist so that you can purchase them and then go into the description and go, holy shit, these are actually not bad. Five star review or four star review. I wish we could do the half stars. Um, that wallpaper's in the description. There's a sound demo for these, and I go through the settings so you could hear the different modes and transparencies. It doesn't always work the best in the mics. Mics are not ears, so the psychoacoustics of the mics are not the same as the psychoacoustics of the ears, but you'll at least be able to hear the music. Um, wallpaper, like I said, description, every wallpaper on my Patreon and Subscribestar. Those are uh, $5 a month gets you behind, gets you direct access to message me. See these reviews early, up to two weeks or more. And then participate in the yard sales. I usually sell things like this. The companies have just donated to the channel. Like here, review your headphone and I move on. And I'm like, all right, I review your headphone and I sell it and make 50 bucks. Um, which keeps the channel going for the next thing I have to buy and not get given. Get got given or pay mortgages. Um, this will probably stay here. I, I like it too much. I fucking like it too much. I, I, I'm selling the swan. I sold the swan in this month's yard sale. First to the 10th of every month, free shipping US, half shipping international. The yard sales, $5 access to that as well. 
but I'm, I'm probably keeping these. And then the $10 chat, by the way, is the behind the scenes private Telegram chat accessible to either Subscribestar people or patrons. There's a public uh, Zero Views Discord, which you can find, it's, it's out there. So you can just join that. You do get ranks if you're a patron. I don't know how to do Subscribestar ranks. You have to basically ask for it because Subscribestar is so new. But uh, yeah, no, this, these, 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 fucking these. I'm very proud of these. I wish I would have, I, I haven't been using them. I just had piles of them over there and I kind of feel bad because they deserve a lot of praise. They deserve. They deserve to be recognized as actually giving a fuck in the land of cheap Bluetooth headphones. They, they feel like they want to compete. And that's it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the sound demo, which is also, by the way, linked in the description. And then we'll do more stuff after that.